Hey guys, my name is Matthew Carrick. I'm on the Dinsky team, and today I'm joined with fellow Dinsky team member, developer, licensed contractor, and good friend, Jacob Matian. Jacob, thanks hey, for being here. Matthew, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure being here. Uh, an honor to be part of your first uh, show. I appreciate and, uh, it. Look forward to answering any questions you have for me. Amazing. Uh, this is the first of hopefully many interviews. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you being the first. Today I want to talk about new construction with you. Uh, not only because the Din that's one of our specialties on the Dinsky team, um, but because I know you have a lot of insight. Uh, you recently completed 4150 Roads, um, at, which was just an absolutely incredible property. Uh, I had the pleasure of walking through it with clients and it was just really above the rest, you know. Um, so why is new construction so valuable today? Um, I think, Matthew, uh, first you pose a good question because right now with the shifting market and looking at getting the best value uh, and the way to be able to buy a property where it would hang on best to that value, I think new construction is the way to go. And reasons why are uh, with the availability of land, there's a lot less new construction going on. Uh, secondly, uh, they tend to hold on to their value a lot more. Because of many factors, you get the warranty that comes along with that new construction house. You're usually getting you know, some of the most state-of-the-art equipment that older homes don't have, even as far back as five years ago, as far as the house being, you know, smart home to a different level, or the lighting, um, even design factors. Um, so uh, it's definitely something that, if afforded, brings back the best uh, value for the money spent. Amazing, and agree 100%. A couple of things you brought up that I want to touch back on. Um, the home warranty, why is that so huge on new construction? Well, I think it's a, you know, just like anything you buy, you, you want to have that state of mind that, you know, there's something behind it. And that gives you that very thing where, you know, most properties don't get that warranty, even on a remodel. Right. You get one year. Right. With a new construction, you get 10 years. That's huge. That gives you, you know, the ability to know your house is going to stand, <laughs> which is a big thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the majority of things that matter most is function. Um, is it going to cover your toilet? No. But a lot of uh, things like toilets or appliances come with their own manufacturer warranty which will you know, cover you for a long time, anywhere from at least a year to three years. And if you treat these uh, appliances or the items in your house with care and respect, they will last for a long time. It just really matters on how you uh, treat your house, just like how you treat anything. Else. Absolutely, absolutely. I feel like it's easier to treat something that's brand new, you know, with care and respect than, you know, 10, 15 year old. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You would, yeah. You would expect, you, would, you, you know, would think. but it all depends, you know? And I know you designed roads completely I by did. yourself. Uh, talk to us a little bit about some of the features that, you know, are luxury features that aren't in everyday new construction. For example, sure. the plaster um, and some of the lighting choices you chose. Certainly. Um, when it came to designing roads, just like any home um, I've done, it's very important to bring something together that, that worked cohesively as a unit. And all the lighting options, all the clay plaster that you saw were chosen for that purpose, to bring about that calm, soothing feel as right. you walk through the house. Um, and it did. So, Gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, the clay uh, is something that's organic, that's actually good for you, rather than you know paint and the latex that goes into typical walls. Uh, so it's not just beautiful, it's, it's functional right. in, the, in the sense that it's a better product. You can feel good about it, you know, it's, it's better for the environment. And the lighting that we chose, a lot of it was a Paratus uh, studio, which is built in New York, handmade, one of the best lights that you could get, and 
just like anything else, you get to see the final product. It is uh, something that costs more, but it shows. Right. And it just makes the house that much more luxurious and beautiful. It stands out, you know, from, right. from some of these other new constructions that I see a lot of, you know, where the hardware is from Home Depot or the builder is really thinking about their return. And I think that is easy to spot when you're touring lots of new construction, when it's just about the return on the investment or the bottom line is the most important. And the consumer wants to feel luxurious in their home. They want those higher end things and that's why they're willing to pay those high end prices, right? Absolutely, especially when you're talking about the higher price points and the more expensive parts of town. Obviously, it still has to be a return on investment. You're of not going to end up putting, uh, you know, super expensive lighting in a home that you know is only going to sell for a certain amount in a certain part of town. It all has to be relative, but it's for me, it's not just you know, dollars and cents. For me, what uh, drives me, I know where I'm building is a good enough of a neighborhood that will support what I'm doing. Now, if I end up getting everything back based on this $15,000 chandelier, you know, perhaps, but that's not my sole driving force for putting that right. chandelier. And I know? think that comes across in your homes, you know, and I think that's what's, that's what's special. Uh, there are some other builders that we work with as well, where that's their goal. You know, something that sparks happiness in them. You know, and that also transcends to the buyer. Uh, so, Absolutely. thank you for being one of those those builders that are not just throwing Home Depot lighting and and uh, hardware. No offense to Home Depot. Uh, so, I also what what do you look for in new construction? Um, I look for original design. I look for uh, design that's also functional. Um, but for me, I am so design focused and uh, original design focused. I, I keep coming back to that because in this industry, it's like a copy machine. Play and repeat. As you take a copy of a copy of a copy, that just becomes distorted and sometimes it just becomes so out of whack. Right. Some, sometimes you just sit there and wonder, you know, but again, there are some builders out there that are amazing and set the bar high and they're an inspiration and uh, my hat's off to them and, uh, uh, you know, they uh, make this industry fun. Mm. I think you're one of them. I Thank think you're you. one of those builders. Thank you. Uh, one of the final questions I have for you is when you're walking, when I'm walking through a buyer, you know, in our final walkthrough, um, or an inspector comes in and starts pointing out things in a new construction, and my buyers start to freak out. Like, the, what, what are we getting into? We're paying this much money, and there's still things wrong. That's normal, right? There's still punchless items at the end of new construction sure. is completely normal. Sure. But you know, it all it all depends. I've seen new construction homes, uh, just like price points of upwards uh, 10, 12 million. And uh, you would think that the basic function on these homes would be there, right. but you know, I've seen stuff where on a tub, the spout is not reaching the tub. So right. you know, by turning on the water, it's just oh, gonna hit man. the floor. And I'm sitting there wondering how this even happened. ended up, right. and this house is staged and on the market. Right. <laughs> so it depends. You know, sometimes you'll get an inspection where the inspector is just, they have to do their job. So they'll sit there and just pick at the silliest of things. Right. And it, it'll drive me crazy. Of course. And it drives anybody of crazy because right. you know none of it really matters. But uh, for the most part, it is something that's very important yeah. and uh, it all depends on who built the house and you know, how much care went into the house. Can you tell, do you have anything coming up, anything we can look forward to? We, I don't want to spill any beans, but... Uh, we, we're working on a few projects, uh, one right here in Studio City. Uh, we love Studio City and also, you know, the Valley, we have another one coming up in Sherman Oaks. Amazing. And uh, yeah, we have a few things in the works. So in the hopefully later part of this year, we'll be able to Amazing. bring it out to market. 
amazing. It's coming from the Dinsky team. Uh, if you want to take a sneak peek at these, these properties, um, please contact the Dinsky team. Thanks for being here, Jacob. Pleasure, huh? Thank All you right. very much.